Hey guys, I just wanted to go over my opinion on the new Genshin banner real quick. So as you can see, it's Raiden, Kokomi, Everlasting Moonglow, and Engulfing Lightning. So we'll left to right. Uh, first we'll start with the four stars. Bennett, really fucking good. Zinyan, she exists. Don't know why she's in the game, the honest. Kujo Sara, um, as you guys can just see here. I just got her so i mean i don't think she's that good but she's cool she's got little wings come on it's like a little raven uh so she's she aesthetically she's cool but if you're pulling for raven uh raven raven's obviously better because like unless you're using all electro which fair enough but uh yeah that's how it goes uh so four stars are pretty okay i think bennett's obviously the best these two are like if it's a tier list bennett up here then um kujo right here and then zinyan's kind of down <laughs> all right so uh, and keep in mind the four stars are shared between banners so it's the same just let you know yeah it, it's kind of weird this little black dot behind on uh, raiden's um picture on the back it fucks up the, it makes the sword look cooler honestly whatever but uh yeah that's the, uh, those are the four stars. Um, Bennett's useful and everything. Uh, yes, he's a dude. Um, I don't know if anyone cares about his gender. But, um, yeah, he's really fucking good. You should use him if you haven't already. I mean, PSA. Bennett's really fucking good. Zinian. Let me be real honest. I've had her max constellation forever, and I've never touched her. Kuja, like I said, just got her. So... Kujo I used in a story mission thing. It was she's pretty okay. But like there's so many electro characters now that I don't I think she's like if you get her, she's not bad, but like there's things that are better, which is I mean that's how it goes, but just how it is. So yeah. You're if you're summoning, you're probably either hope, hoping for Kujo or Bennett, and probably not on Zinyan, because I don't know anyone that's favorite character is in Yan. I mean, sure there's probably someone out there. Anyway, I gotta stop joking around. Uh, Raiden is phenomenal. I've had her since day one when she first came out. Uh, she's amazing. Um, my thing though is there's again we've had like what four electric characters come out recently? Three, three, four, something like that. It's been a lot. All right. So I mean, she's really good. So if you're on the fence, she's like one of, the, if not the best electric character. Uh, so I'd summon for her if you skipped the yeah, Miko. Uh, she's well, she's hot. She's good. I don't know what else you need. Um, huh. uh, let me go over my Raiden build before we move on to Kakomi. For my Raiden build, obviously, she's 10. Uh, we uh, these are my stats 50 crit rate, 82 crit damage, 286% uh, electro. My artifacts are not all maxed because I just don't have the chance to do all that. So, first artifact, crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Uh, then we got energy recharge, elemental mastery, crit rate, defense. Energy recharge, main attack, crit rate, crit damage, HP defense, kind of HP defense, kind of garbage. Uh, and it is 20, so that's as far as it's going. Uh, attack, which I kind of want electro damage bonus, but it's M1 and Sword Fate, so it's iffy, right? Uh, crit rate, elemental mastery. And this crit rate, I mean, obviously I'd want better for these two, so for this, like, if I want, if I needed Emblem of Severed Fate, where's that? Why do I feel like a dumbass? That's not it. Physical damage runs useless. Um, crit rate is what I'd want, but I'd also want, like, crit rate, energy recharge, or crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge. I'd want energy recharge. Uh, for this... You can go either way to be honest. I kind of would have picked the energy research one, but you can go either way. Um, that's all fine. Uh, that's about it for that. Uh, for her heart of depth, energy recharge crit rate crit damage, but that's maxed out, so that's kind of garbage. Where's, do I have anything else energy recharge? <laughs> Fuck. 
you know, this is kind of dog shit. <laughs> yeah, my energy research is kind of dog shit. Um, but yeah, 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 it's, it's what I have. <laughs> luck is luck, this is how our effects go. Uh, Constellation C0, talents are 576. Um, considering I always have this up, I'm always using this, and the increase is skill damage, coordinated attack damage, and elemental burst damage. Elemental burst damage bonus, I mean. I think that's well worth it because this is always up. I feel like everyone's normal attack, if you're using the character, should be five because it's like it's not high investment and it's it, I just do it. Why not? The ultimate's phenomenal. I need to level this up more. I feel bad for not doing so, but she does require molten moments from Signora. This is, this is what it is. Um, her other things you get from leveling is when nearby uh, uh, party members gain elemental orbs or particles, chakra descent whatever this thing's called, uh, gains two resolve stacks. If you don't know what chakra this isn't written in here, here it is. When well, nearby party members, excluding Raiden, use their elemental burst, Raiden builds up resolve stacks. So this giant circle will be behind her. It'll have three dots, top left, middle, top right. Or top left, middle, top right, my bad. It'll just be like a triangle. Um, and when they're lit up, that's a whole resolve stack. Or like a whole resolve. Yeah. The Raiden Shogun will build up resolve stacks based on energy costs of these elemental bursts. The maximum resolve number is 60. So, so 60 stacks, or 60 is how much you need, and you get two resolve stacks. So, that's extra stacks, man. This is where her energy recharge comes into play. Each 1% above 100% energy recharge Raiden Shogun possesses will grant her 0.6% energy restoration from Moose. Is this? Yeah, it's this. Uh, it's the ultimate. So yeah, you'll get energy recharge. Uh, and then you're also gonna be getting 0.4% electro damage bonus. So that's pretty cool. Um, passive will be more expended when extending swords and full arms, so decrease by 50%. Something kind of important to know about Raiden is. She can't cook, so yeah, I don't know if you need someone that cooks, but it ain't Raiden, dog. She's she's not she's not she's not nah. She's not it. She's she's not it. She 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 doesn't know how to cook. Look at this face. You think she knows how to cook? Look look at this face. She's she, she don't know how to cook. I like the blue hints in her hair, but she doesn't know how to cook. Don't don't fool yourself. Okay. Kakomi. Oh boy. She was the anniversary unit. Uh, she came out, I think, after... After... Raiden? So... Take that with a grain of salt. Where did I put her? I did manage to pull her. I just got her today, when this banner came out. After I did my raids in Destiny. Uh, come watch me on Twitch, by the way. Link's down in the description. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's level 60. Um, this is my stats for her. Obviously, negative 100% uh, crit rate. So crit rates, dog shit. Don't worry about crit rate or crit damage. There's no point. You're gonna want your healing damage bonus, energy recharge, and your hydro damage bonus and HP. That's all that matters. HP, attack, healing bonus, energy recharge. That's it. Everything well, maybe elemental mastery. Uh, but everything else is kind of garbage. So you might be like, dark, oh my god, that's a lot of fucking HP. I mean, you look at your level whatever, gone you 6k, well, 16k. For, your Zhang leaves a tank, uh, 11k to 880, uh, 15k, 18k, 30k, uh, 14k, 15. So it's like 10k is around the standard, 15 or roughly 15. Uh, so I, I'd say roughly 15k at level 80 is the standard around my team. Where the fuck is Kakomi at? And then she's just sitting here with 21k at level 50 or 60. Um, so my Kakomi is level 60. Her weapons level 60. Uh, this is the new one for the event. You just gotta go do it and do it before it goes away. Artifact. Oh, and you can get the refinements. I haven't done that yet because I'm slacking like a noob. Uh, my artifacts that I just farmed today. I did it over on Twitch. Again, in the links down below in the description. Please follow me. It means a lot to me. It's very important because I would love to have you there. And yeah. Um, we got HP for the flower because you're stuck with that. HP defense, unlock to master defense. Unlucky, it rolled in HP. Uh, flowers got attack, crit, damage, sadly. 
HP defense to HP. I only chose this because of the double HP set. If it, if it was like, if I had one HP, HP, attack, attack, or HP, HP, crit rate, or not crit, HP, HP, elemental mastery, energy recharge, perfect. HP main stat on the sands. Um, I am running ocean hued. Sorry, I didn't go over this. Healing bonus increased by 15%. Uh, when the character equipping this artifact heals a character in the party, so Kakomi healing other people, Sea Dive Foam will appear for 3 seconds. It will take the amount of HP recovered from healing, including overflow healing. So now it won't take it away from the character. It'll just, however much you heal that, and overheal that. So how much she heals, just in general. The duration, it'll explode dealing damage to nearby opponents based on 90%. Of the accumulated healing. This damage is calculated similar to reaction since there's all of that. I'm not doing that. There can be no more than one at a time. This effect can be triggered even when the character who is set on the artifact is not on the field. So you might be like, Dark, what is that supposed to mean for the average player? What, what does that mean to me? Basically, then you shouldn't have her in your first slot. This is just my running here to your team. Put her E down. You switch, heal someone. And this little thing blew up. Oh, it's back again. Boom. Just pops. That's it. It's like an arc soul from Destiny if you ever played that. Yep. So it, it'll spawn for three seconds. So, however much it gets from three seconds. There you go. So, real quickly, HP is very important on her. Attack, attack, energy recharge, defense. Uh, it's about average. Uh, it is level 12, I have 12, 8, I think 12 is the standard here, yeah, everything's 12. So, Hydro Damage Bonus is what you want on here if you're doing damage. Well, it doesn't really matter because like, he does damage, he might as well just get the extra damage for free. Like, there's no reason not to, but you could run something else. This per one worked out perfectly for me. HP, HP, Hydro, with Energy Recharge, that's amazing. This is amazing. This right here is amazing. The only thing that sucks is defense, but we take it, we take it. I'm not someone that's picky. I don't know why, because I'm not a whale. I don't have money to spend, like, willy-nilly just to fucking farm artifacts. I'm not... That's crazy. I've seen people do it. It's, I don't understand how. Um, circle it. HP main set. Bellissimo. Okay? HP. Mmm. Energy recharge. Mmm. I want to last Ooh. And then attack. <laughs> that was so good. So, my rolls were perfect. I just need to level them up. C0. Talents are one 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 because I mean you can't change anything past here. But uh, again, just got her. Do I have stuff for her? I do. Monday, Thursday, Sunday. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. Well, that's a important video. Um. So yeah. Well, um, yeah, it depends. So yeah, I guess. So Mia Kokomi has twenty five percent healing bonus, but one hundred percent decrease in crit. See, it's called flawless strategy. Which I think is ironic, because the f your strategy is so flawless. Yeah, your medical is doing good, but you're never going to be able to land a critical strike then deal a big damage to the enemy's forces. That's horrible. Uh, Princess of Watatsumi decreases swimming stamina. We know we know how that works. Uh, while donning the ceremonial garnet created by the ultimate, which I'm not. I was trying to say. Nereids ascension or the normal and charge attack damage bonus the same gonna need a Kokomi based or gains based on her max HP. We'll receive a further based on 15% of her healing bonus. So her HP matters. This thingy, the jellyfish. A Sangami and Kokomi's own bake kuragage. Kuragage? What is this? Uh it's, it is the E. Why the hell is this called? whatever? Bake Kurage. Um, it's on the field, when she uses near his ascension, the base Kari's duration will be refreshed. So if you press E, switch out. Wait, does it tell you how much it, it's, it stays around? Okay, it lasts 12 seconds. So say you use it, last 10 seconds, and then you pop the E, or the ultimate, I mean. Uh, it'll refresh to 12. So that's really good. That's really, really good. Or, let's just go base attack first. Uh, performance of the three, it's all hydro damage. If you play this game, you understand what's about. Um, so this doesn't matter. Kurgage's oath when you're leveling it up, the regen is increased and the ripple damage is increased. So deals hydro damage to surrounding enemies. This healing is based on cooking. So 
It heals nearby more. Uh, okay, so fixed intervals. So it heals in fixed intervals. That's cool. Um, and if you want to increase that healing, there you go. It goes off of max HP. Wait. It says max HP increase. Does that increase her max HP? Or am I crazy here? Whatever. I don't know. Not 100%. I'm just reviewing the character as I got him. Alright, so this is the long one. Summons the Might of Watatsumi, dealing Hydro Damage bonus or hydro damage to surrounding opponents before robing Kokumi in a ceremonial garnet made from the flowing waters of Sangonomiya. Basically, it's good. Ceremonial Garnet. Sangonomiya Kokumi's normal attack, charge attack, and that thing are now increased based on her max HP. Again, HP matters. When her normal charge attack hits... Kokumi will restore HP for all nearby party members based on the amount, or er, the and the amount is restored based on our max HP again. So it's kind of like Barber where you need to do damage. Increase the Sengomi and Kokumi's resistance to interruption and allows her to walk on the surface of water, or water surface. She basically becomes Jesus. I don't have her ult. I do not. You know what? I'm going to go get her ult. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so... Okay, so we're back. We got the ultimate. Ooh. Okay. So one. I'm just going over the jellyfish again. So it throws it down. Boom. Little blue circle spawn. is gone. And I'm at max health, so that's fine. This is the over health we were talking about. I can spawn with her. Just in case anybody just want to know. Alright. And just in case you need to know about Raiden. Boom. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't spawn. It, there's supposed to be a giant circle behind the under the eye. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so it, it'll burst up, and every time you deal damage, it uh, strikes lightning. It's not all the time, but it's constantly. It's pretty good. Uh, so we'll go. You know, we'll go with Raiden's. So she sl brings it out, slashes, and then you just do a bunch of tears, holding the stamina button, or charge attack of that, and then just normal slashes, and she just switches back to her weapon. Uh, for Kokomi, that's her royal go uh, garb. Uh, and our attacks deal damage and heal based off her HP and shit. Cool. And, yeah, that's basically it. And also the circle's here now. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, as you can see, the eye spawns. There you go. Okay, so for Kokomi, we have Everlasting Moon Glow, HP based attack, healing bonus, uh, increased by 10%. Good. Normal attack damage increased by 1% of the max HP of the character equipping this weapon. And since you want max HP, that's a lot. Uh, for uh, for 12 seconds, after using an elemental burst, or ultimate, normal attacks to hit, or for 0.6 energy, energy will be restored this way once every 0.6 seconds. That's pretty decent for energy recharge. And, um, engulfing light. Uh, has timeless dream, the eternal stove. It's funny because she can't even cook. Uh, attack is increased by 28% of energy recharge over the base 100%. You can gain a maximum bonus of 80% attack. Gain 30% energy recharge after using Emil to burst. So this weapon, I mean, it's Raiden's weapon, just like how Everlasting Moon Glow is uh, Gokumi's weapon. Now, you might be like, Dark, if you could change how things played out, would you? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely would. I would still summon for Raiden because I got a first multi because I'm hard pity. Um, I would not have summoned for the weapon because now it's on the banner that I actually care about. Because I, I lost 50-50 and got the other weapon and I would have rather gotten the donut than, than fucking the thing. The, um... What's it called? Fuck. Oh, I sound stupid. The, um... Thing unforged big shit rock weapon um yeah i would have much rather gotten that what's the last thing i got almost well yeah seems about right um so yeah that's my review of these fine ladies they're amazing in their own right um they're both pretty good uh and especially since we need healers more now than ever and there's only like three of them four of them something like that uh they're both really good. Summon for whoever you like. Maybe buy both. I That's up to you. The weapons are great. I mean, they're made for the characters. The sub-weapons are kind of bad, but, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, 
yeah, that's just how it goes. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and sub. It means a bunch. Uh, if, if you're a Kokomi fan, leave a comment. If you're a Raiden fan, drop a like. Both of you should sub, though. <laughs> if you like either, you should sub. Uh, I'm going to see you next time, guys. Uh, I stream over on Twitch. I try to do it daily. I'm going to be doing Raid for Destiny 2. I'm going to be doing the Vow of the Disciple on Wednesday. Uh, same day this goes up. It'll be a little bit later, but uh, I'm doing the right today. So thank you all so much for watching. Peace.